Here's a quick tank update. System update, I guess. This will be a little bit of a lengthy video here. Actual system's been open for, been up for about right over eight months. Doing pretty good. Let's see if we can keep it that way. That's my whole little nook here. I get a corner of the house. Not too bad. Enjoy my coffee here in the morning. Let's see, jump into the tank here. Can't forget these little accent features. They don't do much for the system itself, but I tell you what, they do pretty darn well for the display. Dig it. While we're down there, might as well hit up on the products I use for dosing. These are Seachem products. We've got the whole line. There's a few behind as well. pH, alkalinity, calcium, magnesium, strontonium. Got some trace elements in there. Food galore. All kinds of stuff. But, as far as dosing goes, I dose one time a week. Should be dosing two times a week, and I sometimes miss my one time. But, it's not... Affecting the tank that much. I imagine I could get more growth. But it does pretty well. I'd say I could attribute most of my success to water changes, I would imagine. I do a religious five gallon water change a week. used to hate doing water changes, but as anything else that I've ran into under the tank, just kind of research it a bit once I figure out something that sucks, and you figure out better ways to do it. I could probably do a water change in about two minutes on this tank, and I don't have to shut anything down. Definitely nice. When I do dose, I dose it several times. Recommended amount on the label. For my system volume, which is the actual water in here would be 95 gallons, I would say. And you're dealing with a 90 gallon tank, 40 gallon sump, 5 gallon frag tank. So, might be under the needed par, but I've got four water changes a month and it does pretty well. Say so it replenishes everything pretty well. As far as lighting goes, got two 250 watt metal halides up there. There's also four power compacts, 65 watts a piece for actinic. Very cheap fixture. Got it off someone that thought it was broke. Kicked it about three times, put a new bulb in it, and voila. Doesn't always work when you take that risk though, so. Did that time. As far as flow goes, give you a quick overview here. That's what we're looking at. 
Start on the left here. Up high there, I've got a 1400 coming forward. There's the apex there. 79.6 degrees, 8.09 pH. I don't run a baby tank, so my stuff fluctuates quite often. Anyway, I don't have any silver spoon fed corals in here. Everyone's pretty tough. Throughout the year I hit a lot of fluctuations. I wouldn't call it your average tank, I guess. But back down here, that's a 750. Hitting down low. Gets my bottom scape, sand bed. Not to mention everything coming up top and forward. There's a 1400 there coming forward. Twelve fifty in the back corner coming forward into an angle and a sixteen hundred going across the front. With an eleven fifty return pump up there going. Pumps water pretty well.